what's up? I'm back with another Jello thingy mabobber. Today, with something that's probably never been done before either, a Pringles Jello DIY. Actually, my kuya, my cousin Roy, actually helped me think of this idea, and I thought it was amazing. And so I was like, I'm gonna do it. So let's get right to it. We got we got Pringles, we got Jello. Make it happen right now. Let's do this. Start by using some unflavored gelatin. I used about 10 per Pringles box. Then I used some strawberry jello, some green jello, and some blue jello. And then I mix it all around and I use different pans for each. Be a man, Marlon, be a man. Alright, filling it up. Oh wow, it's getting everywhere. Okay, ooh. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Green stuff everywhere. Okay, hey. Oh, this looks delicious. Mmm. Do you smell that? Mmm. French onion and, and lime jello. Mmm. Mmm. That's a good smell. <laughs> Pour some jello on me. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I've been waiting eight hours for this to finally be done. I think it is finally time for me to cut these open. Right here. Go from the end. Box. <laughs> oh wow, this is awesome. Oh wow. All the chips actually, they always like float to the top, but I got a solid piece right here. Cutting it. Just a little. Wow. All right, I'm gonna start by slicing this. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Whoa, this looks like a little red hockey puck. Wow, I'm gonna keep slicing here. Uh. Oh yeah, see that was much easier. Oh, it looks like like meat or something, like salami. Got all these little mini salami slices everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna try slicing this one a little differently. Okay, straight down like a cross section. Wow. Now, I'm gonna slice this one and give it some fancy designs. I don't know, I wanna try something different. Ooh, nice. Now I'm gonna slice it up and just try different angles of cutting. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice, yes. Yes, yes, it feels so good to cut this. Oh my goodness. Whoa, wow. Oh, um, stacks, yes. Let's, let's, let's go and taste test this. I know, since I tried the hot Cheeto one last, let's try the red one, here we go. Oh. It's not that bad. Let's go for uh, this beautiful blue one right here. Hmm. Okay, that was not as good. That was the salt and vinegar and blueberry. And uh, now let's go for the final one. Sour cream and onion lime. So let's just go for it. The textures just don't match. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. This is like a, oh, it's like a spongy texture with Onion. Yeah, this is like a perfect piece of jello. Um, uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Another jello DIY. Peace. What up, guys? Today I'm going to do something that has not been done before. Or to my knowledge, that has not been done before. So, hot Cheetos and make it into a jello form and cut it up. All right, so to hold the hot Cheetos up, I'm just gonna put some hot Cheetos in here like this. And you can see that it's like, keeps falling over and stuff. So I think I'm gonna try putting rice. 